got a little sweet tooth for ya I'm looking for a bit of sugar Lucky me, it's my cheat day Cause I'm feeling for you Hey Jam, I hope you're doing well today. So, if you don't know, Beauty Bakery released new powders in addition to the powders that they already have. I've shown you guys um, their brown powder on my channel before. So today I'm going to show you the lineup powders that they sent to me and I'm going to use a few of these powders in, in a skin routine for you guys to see. And I'm also going to tell you my thoughts, impressions, and whether or not I think that these powders are good enough for us to use. But before we jump into it, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, just make sure you subscribe. Ah. Ugh. Just make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss any future uploads from me. Let's jump into the video. They sent over a box of powders. So we're going to take a look at them to see if there's any of them that we can actually use. And if not, I will, I guess, tell you guys alternatives to what we can use or what we can add to it to make it work. Okay. Okay. So they added three new shades to the shades that they already have. They added flour. They added almond flour, plantain flour, rice flour. There's a cassava in there somewhere. I think they changed the name too because before it used to be a yellow flower, a white flower, and a brown flower. But now they actually have like almond, cassava, plantain, rice, and all that. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys from the deepest one they have. And that's the brown powder. Essentially, whatever you see on the outside is what's in the bottle. But this is what the brown powder looks like. I have used the brown powder on my channel before. And I used it in my... Um, full face beauty bakery video if you haven't seen it i'll link that down below so you can see it um after you watch this one of course but this is what the brown powder looks like okay and next would be the almond powder and this is what the almond powder looks on the inside so like i said whatever you see on the outside is exactly what you see inside the can as well but this is almond powder and it's like a lot in here right now and this is what almond powder looks like in the can okay so the next darkest uh powder they have would be the plantain powder and i think plantain is more of a yellowish powder if you can see it plantain is plantain is their old yellow flower powder okay and this is what that shade looks like i haven't opened it so i can't really show you what it looks like on the inside but and next would be the shade cassava and this is what cassava looks like cassava is almost white but it has a slight tint of yellow to it this is cassava next to plantain this is plantain which is yellow and plantain powder really is yellow and this is cassava next there is oat and this is what oat looks like oh oat is almost white it has like a slight hint of i want to say yellow to it like a very 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 slight hint of course if i put it on me it will show up white but this is what that looks like um in the can okay and the last one is the rice flour and the right and the rice flour is an all white powder yeah so i'm gonna show you guys we're gonna go through it and i'm just gonna do my skin routine i will come back on camera without all the makeup on and i'll just show you use the powder and you guys would see what it looks like okay so let's just jump right into that okay guys so now that my skin routine is done i'm gonna go ahead and start with the powders um so the powder I usually use is the Benai Nutmeg Powder. Um, it's, you know, it has this shade color to it. And it's going to be the powder that I compare every other powder to to see if it's going to be something that's actually going to work for us. Um, you know, so after looking at everything, the powders that I chose to try out today is the powder almond is this almond yes almond but this is almond compared to chestnut i mean to nutmeg oh god okay so i'll so this is nutmeg and this is almond okay so yeah the brown powder is too red compared to nutmeg and this is the brown powder compared to almond i am gonna start out with <sighs> I'm gonna have to mix again today because I feel like I'll just I'll show you what almond looks like under this eye and I'll show you what brown looks like on this eye by itself. So this is almond. Ooh. Oh yeah, so for me almond definitely has like a super brightening effect um right now. I'm just using the sponge, just tapping it in and... Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna take some of the brown powder. So comparing the two, using brown straight on and using almond straight on, I definitely prefer the brown powder compared to the almond powder because the almond powder is too brightening, especially if I do my makeup to match my face like really closely, the almond will be too light. If I do my, uh, my other routine where it matches, like it balances between my head and my neck, that it might be different, but for right now, I am feeling the brown powder better. Okay, so I feel like the best thing to do would be to first lay down some brown and then put some almond over it just to brighten it up a little bit if you want a brightening effect. If not, then, you know, you might have to... God, it's so bright. No, no, it's too bright. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what chestnut looks like by itself um, on my forehead. Okay, so this is what chestnut looks like by itself on my forehead. I I'm just putting, I put some of the powder on my neck because my neck, the contrast after I put on my, the powders on my under eye was too much. So at this point I'm just going over it with my chestnut to try to mute it down a little bit. I mean it kind of does make it balance my chest a little bit better than um, my base because my base was done to sort of mimic my face my neck like closer match to my my face than what i usually do hmm. okay let me finish my routine and i'll come back and we'll see um how everything turns out and if you know if my my opinion is going to change of the whole thing okay I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm sorry, you guys. If you hear, if you heard a lot of talking, my chiclitas are out there playing, so you can hear them talking. But um, the yeah. in my in my full face beauty bakery video that I did, I had to mix the brown powder with the plantain powders together. I feel like in order for me to be able to use the beauty bakery powders, I actually have to add now. A little, a little bit of the brown powder to the almond powder to make it like the perfect um almost perfect shade for me to use if not then the best way for me to use these would be for me to use my nutmeg powder and then put a little bit of the almond right underneath my eyes to try to brighten it up a little bit dang it i don't really like wearing my face uh, my concealed areas like really really bright so it's very difficult for me to use a powder that is very bright now if you're someone who likes a bright under eye or a bright concealed area then of course and you're about my shade let's maybe like if you're a shade or two lighter than me then almond powder would be very good for you that the beauty bakery powders are really really fine they're really really finely milled they go on really smoothly and I love how they apply and hopefully they will add i want to say a shade or two more something a little bit darker you know just a little bit darker so they would add some darker shades for us to be able to use but also that's it for my show and tell of the beauty bakery new flowers thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't yet subscribed subscribe down below so you don't miss any future uploads from me also just remember to thumbs up this video because you know i did tell you guys about the powders if you didn't know you know if you knew already i still showed it to you so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much and i probably will see you in another video tomorrow if not then saturday or friday i don't know but another video will be coming soon okay bye